you're looking to create some curb appeal to your home, it could be as easy as painting the front door. Here's Sharon with some tips. I really love this house and I'm so thrilled to be giving it a color makeover. But I always say that prep is just as important as the color. So we're going to start here with the railing. You can see that it's kind of rusted out. It's seen better days, but we're going to scrape off as much of the rust as we can and then use a rust inhibitive primer and paint just to really freshen it up. Now over at the door area, this is a beautiful architectural detail. It's quite old, so there needed to be some patching on the trim and the door. So I've used an exterior grade patching compound. Now the trim is all sanded. I have to do a few more coats on the door so it's ready to be primed. I'm using Benjamin Moore's Fresh Start. It's an interior exterior primer. I'm gonna prime over all of the trim, and now when it's dry, we'll be ready to paint. Trim doesn't always have to be white, and this is the perfect example. You can see here where we primed, the white is very stark against this beautiful stone and the strong color of the brick. So I've matched up the stone to Benjamin Moore's Pajmina, and I'm using an exterior low luster latex. And you can see how much nicer that is to paint over than having the white. So this will really help to draw attention to the beautiful door once I finish it. So now it's time to paint the door and I always do all the cutting in first, the awkward areas around the window, around any hardware that you weren't able to take off. Use a one or two, two and a half inch max angle sash brush. You can get a nice clean cut. Now I'm using Benjamin Moore's Grand Entrance in a high gloss. The color is Port of Call. I think this deep blue is gonna be perfect for this door. Now I've got a nice big flat area so I can use a regular roller, but I'm using a six millimeter pile, which is the smallest and perfect to get a nice smooth finish. After four to six hours, this will be ready for a second coat. So if you start early in the morning, you might be able to get both done in one day. However, I like to wait till the next day to do the second coat. Now, if you want at night, you can always put a bead of petroleum gel around the edge of the door, and that will help prevent it from sticking and removing the paint. The painting is complete and I just love it. However, I have a confession to make. When the door dried, it was looking a little bit too glossy and it highlighted the imperfections. So I did the final coat with port of call in satin. I did use gloss black, however, in a rust inhibitive paint for the rails and they just look so much better. Now I also painted the shutters and even the vinyl window trim with Iron Mountain. It's a beautiful charcoal gray. I used Aura Exterior in a low luster finish and that just tones in really nicely with the brick. Of course, a few little changes like the lighting and a beautiful urn and now we have a beautiful grand entrance.